So today's video is all about how to capture all the data from Wireshark. So yes, you have to uh, open the workshop first. So here I will tell you that I'm using a Mac OS and the benefit of Mac OS that you can use a your Wi-Fi adapter as a monitoring mode and also you can use you know for receiver mode. Uh, for now I will show you that how can I you know capture all the flags and all the packets from a different device right so here as you can see that Wi-Fi EN0 is my uh, device Wi-Fi adapter and if you select this and start it. okay so capture its um, the works is start now and now if you want to search a particular device like your mobile phone or tablet the first you need to know that uh, IP address so how how you will know the IP address of the device so then you have to log in your Wi-Fi router as usual you know the type your uh, router gateway and use your admin username and password mine is a little bit different and just uh, log in here and go to DSCP option and DSCP client list here you can see that all the MAC address and the device name right so now if you see that my iPhone is using IP 101 so you know and uh, just type here on the works are IP address okay I already checked so like DNS yeah you can search DNS like that way or you can do that also so now you can, you can see that you can you can see all the traffic on my mobile phone right all the data yes this is a destination IP address and also if you Break it down you can see some flags or data maybe I click here answer answer mean the the my mobile phone request some website IP address from the DNS server and here is the answer from my DNS server and as you can see uh, additional route option okay let it expand a little bit more so you can see apple uh, mode v 2tcblocal so here you can find out so much information about that so don't worry so how can you set up like this so first of all you need to know that wi-fi password yes i know that you know the wi-fi password but still and I, I need to show you something if you open your wi-fi admin page go to wireless and wireless security where you can set your Wi-Fi password and here as you can see my version of wireless password is WPAPSK this is the old version the newest version is is uh, WPA2PSK okay so by default uh, the Wi-Fi router use a new version of new version of encryption but for testing I'm using WPPSK WPPSK but why because I don't have a decryptor for WPA2.PSK okay and if your router or your yes if your if your router is a uh, Wi-Fi version is WPA and PSK so you can do that just type watersark uh, WPA okay WPA PSK right so here as you can see the PSK generator so here my Wi-Fi name is my Wi-Fi name is connect 
so here you have to type your Wi-Fi name and first first mean your password so my password is my Wi-Fi password okay now hit the generate PSK as you can see this is the decryptor and you have to copy this descriptor first and then go to work circ and then go to work circ preference and protocols here you will find IEEE uh, 802.11 and here you need to check this box to enable decryption and for the decryption keys click on edit and here you will here you can see that I already say the decryption so that's why I can see all the data all the traffic okay so yes you can set another one like add new one as you can see only WPA PSK and WPA PWD is available here so that's why I just changed this version WPA PSK uh, for the demonstration okay so now if you click here and just paste the encryption like this and then click ok I'm not going to do that because I already set this encryption and click ok okay then what you need to do just close it and run it again okay There we go. Yes, same thing you can do. So, hope you guys uh, enjoy this video. Yeah, you can test this thing at your home for fun. You know, yeah, just thanks for watching. If you don't understand, this uh, video just comment down below so you know i can help you yeah uh thanks for watching bye